Hi y'all, it's Brandon. So tonight I'm going to do something a little different. This is going to be a midweek video. Uh, I don't plan on doing very many midweek videos unless there's something that comes up. And I'm kind of at a standstill right now waiting on parts for the Suburban. I got some stuff ordered from Rock Auto. But as you all know, Rock Auto takes a little while to get here. But it's worth it because the parts are cheaper and I'm all about that. So while I'm waiting on parts, I have a couple small projects I can do. None of them's really gonna take a while to do. That's my question is, I have these little projects and I wanna know what you wanna see next. So first, I'll start off with this little doohickey. It's from Rough Stuff Specialties. It's called The Cure. So if you followed my videos for very long, you know that when I built the steering for my solid axle swap, you know that I had to put bins in the tie rod and the drag link. And what that allows the steering to do whenever you turn side to side, it allows the drag link to flop forwards and backwards and also allows the tie rod to flop up and down whenever you put steering input in. So it makes the steering a little wondery. So I have the cure on the drag link already and that stopped all the flop. But now I have flop on the tie rod. So I'm gonna install this on the passenger side tie rod end and that should keep the flop from the tie rod and tighten my steering up dramatically. So that's one project. Second, I have a ladder adjuster from Midnight 4x4 and this will go in my track bar. So my track bar I ordered, I ended up trimming it too short and I didn't have the thread engagement that I felt like I needed in the track bar for the bushing. So on the one I ordered, I ordered it drilled so I could have an adjustable bushing. And doing so, I trimmed it a little too short and I only have maybe half inch, three quarter thread engagement in on the threads. Say this is the bushing this is the threaded part of the bushing and say this would be the track bar. So I only have maybe five or six threads of thread engagement between the bushing and the track bar. And I don't really like that. I'd like to have a full inch of thread engagement at minimum. And what this will allow me to do, I can cut out the right hand thread bung that I welded in first. I can cut it out and put this left hand in and then this ladder adjuster is left hand threaded on one end, right hand threaded on the other. So you can put the right hand thread bushing into the ladder adjuster and then adjust the length of the track bar with just one, one adjustment instead of adjusting both ends. Um, this will help me later down the road if I decide to install the Skyjacker two and a half inch lift for the Dodge at coil springs in the front. Um, that allow me to center the, center the axle underneath the Suburban. So that's another project I can work on. So something else I can work on is this three decibel gain ghost antenna from Midland and the coax to go with it to mount to uh, say the hood. I picked this up at Moore Expo. Yeah, I know it's been sitting on the shelf for a while but I have time to do it now. My original antenna that came with my Midland radio has been through the ringer. It's been beat up by trees. It's a magnet mount I have on the roof and coming in and out of the garage here. It hits the garage door, knocks it off. If I go to a car wash, it always blows it off. Tree limbs blow it off. It, uh, it's bent, <laughs> it fell in between the, pat or the driver door and the cab and I slammed the door on it and bent it. So it's, it's really been through the ringer. This here will get 
get my antenna in a better place and it's lower profile and probably a little tougher. So that's another project. The last thing I have is a set of bump stops for the rear. These are again from Rough Stuff Specialties. Um, you know, I did the solid axle swap in the front, but I also swapped the rear axle to a nine and a half inch semi-float 14 bolt. And doing that, I knocked the original bump stops off. They were, they were powder. They were no good. And looking at Rock Auto, I couldn't, I couldn't find the actual bump stops that I wanted to put back in. I wanted the Z71 bump stops to put, put back in place of these uh, LS ones. Now they're supposed to be a little stiffer, but I couldn't find them. So I picked up these from Rough Stuff Specialties. They're a little taller than I wanted. They're even squishier than the factory bump stop, so they should squish up pretty good and give me a nice soft contact. So that's the three options I have for a video this week. These are all pretty simple projects. This one I just unbolt a piece, mess with some nasty grease, bolt it all back up, and this will be good. This one requires a little cutting and welding, but this one has more to do with safety than anything, so it's kind of a higher priority in my opinion. This one here is a super simple install. Um, I just have to take the current antenna and unroute it and then reroute my new antenna. Won't be much information, it'll just be an install video. And then to install the bump stops is gonna be a little fabrication work too. I really would like to get the truck spun around to work on the bump stops. So these may end up being the last thing I do. I can probably get all three of these done in a day and then I'll split those videos up between weekly videos and YouTube shorts. But if you don't mind, like and subscribe, comment down there uh, what project you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching, I appreciate it.